And how about you guys in Seattle? When, can you talk a little bit about the genesis of the project? Can you talk a little bit about how a, you, you came up with the idea and the processes and, and really put it together uh, for a small, small uh, team? Yeah, well, I do want to um, certainly, we're not the entire team. I mean, especially uh, Craig Welch and uh, Steve Ringman, the reporter and photographer. And, and of course, the, it, it really was a newsroom wide project. But, you know, we are the two video editors on it, and Katrina really is the designer on it. Um, but when the project started, we actually had, so this is something that Craig has been working on, and he's very, very familiar with it, and probably one of the leading experts uh, on, on ocean acidification. But when it came to us, we had very, very little lead time on, on it. Um, we uh, were lucky enough to get a grant from the Pulitzer uh, Foundation, the Pulitzer Center, and then the boat, uh, the scientists in Papua, Guinea, in Papua New Guinea were leaving in like two weeks. So everything had to come really, together really quickly, and Craig had never done a video project before. So there were a lot of sessions in, our, in, our, in a little office with me and Genevieve saying, okay, so this is how you've always interviewed for print. Mm -hmm. These are the things that you'll have to do. And then uh, Steve is experienced as a, a video photographer and a stills photographer. And, and you're right that they're two very different gears. And so the way that Steve approaches stories is that he approaches them video first, knowing that if he has enough for a video story, that will, he will also, through that process, have enough photos for uh, a print story as well. And so um, we sort of just went in running. They learned how to dive incredibly quickly. Uh, Steve w was originally intending to approach us with a GoPro. And I was like, whoa! Like, I think that this is bigger than a GoPro. And so he's like, but we don't have any way of getting a camera underwater. So I was like, okay, well, give me the phone in some hours, you know? And, and so we really quickly put this together. He had underwater housing that I made him, like, I was like, just go out to the lake and dunk it, please, before you go to Papua New Guinea. Just dunk the thing in the water and dive with it one time before you go. But all the pieces had come out from Canada and everything, so he really just received it almost, I mean, it was, it was like two days before he got wow. on the boat. Yeah. It was a lot more flying by the seat of our pants than this process sounds. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then editing is a much more deliberate process after that, but uh -huh. yes. Did, did you guys, um, and anyone jump in, did you guys have, uh, so Brian, you mentioned you, you, you tested it, but a tone and a voice to your pieces, uh, you know, they're, it feels different to me, and I, I know that's a bad description. When, when I watch these videos, it feels different than what I might see on TV or, or a lot of websites. Just the, the presentation, did you have a vision in your mind what the actual video would look and sound like? Well, it needed to sound like you. We definitely, yeah. we sort of, we, I think when we were looking at, I was thinking about things originally, I was thinking about, okay, there's no, there's no one hosting, no voiceover, no, and then we're like, no, that's stupid. We need, we, our, our voice is our strength. We gotta, all, we gotta use Alex, mm -hmm. right? Um, and and, the, and one, of th one of the things I think that worked really well was with Kanaz and Josh, these are two of our uh, sort of video editors, um, them coming up with, you know, really detailed shot lists, right? So that we knew, because so, we were sending people literally all over the world, and they weren't the same people, right? We had, we were sending one person to Colombia, one person to Bangladesh, mm -hmm. one person to Indonesia, or a group of people to Bangladesh, a group of people to Indonesia. Um, and so without that, like, really tight coordination, like, for every person, like, there's a scene at the end of it where there's just this sort of still shot of the per it's like a po video portrait, they're just sort of sitting there. Um, and if we didn't have in the, in the list, I need a video portrait of every single person you meet, that thing wouldn't come together, right? right? And so they had, it, it was really pretty, pretty rigorous um, of the look and feel we were going for that we just sort of distributed to everyone and talked to everyone through. Right. And I think, I think, I mean, we had this enormous advantage in that we had a half million dollars that we raised on the Kickstarter campaign of selling shirt. <laughs> and like, that can't be overstated, uh, how much. Uh, what was your original way, wish? Uh, uh, 50. 50. We, we, were, we, were, we thought we'd get like 50 or 60, and then we ended up blowing through that because, the pe because it was, you know, and that was sort of the original idea of the project was, it was very captivating to us, and it turned out it was captivating to other people. So people really wanted that t-shirt that we were gonna make. And so they went on this Kickstarter, page and they, they purchased it, they basically pre-ordered the t-shirt we sold the, through Kickstarter. And a lot of people did it, a lot more people than we thought. So we ended up selling $590,000 worth of t-shirts for this project. And so, with which we were just, which we were gonna make this, this, this thing. So that, that, that really helps.